Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Arrowverse and we're going to be going over a mini conversation that was had with David Ramsey who plays John Diggle aka Spartan in the Arrowverse, originally coming from Arrow but more recently you've seen him on The Flash and Superman Lois. So this is all coming from Comic Chris, my friend. He has a YouTube channel. He makes great Arrowverse videos and comic book videos in general. So please be sure to go to the link in the description below, click on it, watch his video, subscribe to his channel. But for now, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I was actually talking to Chris just yesterday, and I know that he's going to be posting another video sometime in the next few days, basically clarifying some of the things that people have assumed about his talk with David Ramsey, but basically what I presumed before actually turned out to be true, so what this 10 minute conversation was like with David Ramsey was, he basically was at a signing booth at London Film and Comic Con, I've been there before, it's a great event, I highly recommend you guys go because you do get to talk to some of the people and I've had like things like this before happen to me where you know there isn't a huge queue somewhere and you can talk to you know the star of a certain show I remember I talked to Jeremy who played Win on Supergirl a while ago at some event in Birmingham that was the Ultimates and he just like gave me some insights about what was coming next you know with Win, and then I asked about mon -El. And that was way back when, when Supergirl was still on, and when Wim was still on the show. So, I've had like things like this, and actors do tell you stuff, but it isn't 100% concrete, because it's just what they're hearing, it's mainly their thoughts, because they're put on the spot, and you're asking them questions. And so, Chris confirmed to me that, in fact, this was just a 10 minute conversation that he had at a booth with him. It wasn't an interview, it wasn't anything formal so he didn't realize that Chris had a YouTube channel or something so I guess he didn't think any of this would get out there so basically I think you just have to take it with a grain of salt because it is just David's thoughts and he's not confirming anything this is him just generally talking to a fan like Chris or say it was me or say it was you at an event like we would be the ones reporting this so don't take it out on Chris if any of this turns out to not be true because things can change and David Ramsey isn't in charge of Superman Lois or in charge of any of the other shows and even Justice U, even though he's heavily involved, he doesn't get to call all the shots. But this is going to be a continuation video on from the other day, go check out that video if you haven't, it was my last video that I posted and so now we're going to be continuing on with this and talking about something else that Chris mentioned in his video. And so in the video, obviously, he talks about his conversation with David Ramsey and everything that he was able to ask him. Obviously, he's asking, you know, the burning questions on his mind. And one question, of course, came up to do with Oliver Queen and the return of Stephen Amell to the Arrowverse. And so, just before this, David Ramsey actually said to Chris that with Superman Lois doing what it did, setting the precedent to say, oh, we're not in the Arrowverse proper, we're on another Earth and there is only one hero. Basically, he says that it opens up the door for characters to return whether they are dead or alive. So they can bring in any character that they want that maybe we've seen in the past, any new character we want to bring in. Obviously, they can do that anyway. And they do tend to bring back dead characters. However, it gives them a clean slate and it's clear that's what they wanted. They saw the success after season one and they were like, okay, let's go with this. And so they changed course because you can see in season one, it's pretty clear that they were going to set it in the Arrowverse, set it in the canon, but now not with season two, they changed course with that. Anyway, so talking about this, he says they can bring in the characters they want, whether dead or alive, and it opens up the door for more characters to return. and. He Apparently, according to Chris, he was actually referring to Oliver Queen, aka the Green Arrow, played by Stephen Amell. And apparently, David said, if scheduling works, Stephen could show up. And so with everything that's gone on with Superman Lois, there is a high chance that Oliver could return and he could not come in his Spectre form. It could be a completely new version of Green Arrow, a completely new version of Oliver. 
I mean, he doesn't even need to be the Green Arrow. So that would be very interesting because it's pretty clear that they have the same city. So I presume there is an Oliver Queen in Star City and there is a Supergirl in National City and they can explore that if they want to. Now that's a big possibility and with the clean slate, it means that someone like Oliver definitely could return and if scheduling works out, David at least believes that Steven would show up and could show up if the timing is right, of course. Now, I have no idea what story would that be, and if it would be on Superman Lois, or if it would be on Justice U, whenever Justice U finally comes out. But if things are being set on this new Superverse, and that is the way that things are going, we're probably not going to see our original version of Oliver ever again, like David Ramsey confirmed recently, we're probably not going to see the Arrow version of his character again and apparently his story is done after what happened in The Flash and the Superman Lois character that we saw teasing Superman Lois Season 3 at the end of the Season 2 finale is in fact the John Diggle of this Earth. It is a Superman Lois version of John Diggle. So could we see a Superman Lois version of Oliver Queen? I think that could definitely happen. So it's very interesting that David actually replied to Chris and actually said if scheduling works and with everything that has been done in Superman Lois, they could totally bring back Oliver. He thinks it's definitely a possibility and at least a strong possibility if scheduling works. So that is promising news to Arrow fans, although it probably isn't the character that we know. It's still an exciting opportunity. I talked about this the other day in terms of Supergirl potentially coming to Superman Lois and being a completely different character, maybe even played by someone else who isn't Melissa, so not a doppelganger, but the same kind of character. Same thing could go for Green Arrow, doesn't have to be Stephen Amell, although of course we would love Stephen to come back. So they could totally retcon and change anything that they want. And so, you know, anything is up for grabs as of right now. And that is pretty exciting, although for Arrowverse fans, it's a little bit upsetting that they're kind of throwing everything away. So now we have to ask the question, with all of this happening and there being a completely new clean slate and potentially the Arrowverse going away and the Superverse becoming a real thing, who else could show up along with someone like Oliver? Because really the possibilities are endless and as I just mentioned, there was talk of what happens if Supergirl would show up in Superman Lois and Todd Helbing, the showrunner of Superman Lois, replied that it would be a completely different version of the character and it would probably not be played by Melissa and they would create a new backstory, they would change the character in whatever way they see fit and that's just the way that things are going to go in the future. That was actually from the Flash podcast so that's where that idea came from his article, I'll leave that in the description below as well. And so really like I said the possibilities are endless, we could list out every Arrowverse character that has appeared in the past and anyone who has died they can come back, they can be a different character, but I think for now, Superman Lois is probably going to say Superman-centric. I think it's more possible that a version of Supergirl or a version of other characters that have appeared in Supergirl are going to show up more so than an Arrow character is going to show up on Superman Lois. I just feel like that's the way it's going to go. And if Diggle shows up again next season in Superman Lois, Season 3, which I'm pretty sure David Ramsey also confirmed, that would be the most likely time for an Oliver Queen appearance and return. However, I don't know what they're planning. We know that if John Diggle comes back, it's probably going to be related to John Henry Irons and also what he teased at the end of the season to do with the big bad coming in, that being Bruno Mannheim and Intergang, so maybe somehow Oliver could fit in, but I think that is a thing for the future. I don't personally believe that Oliver Queen is going to show up next season. I think if he does show up, it's going to be like the season after or the season after that, because I don't know what Steven's situation is right now. I know he has the other show on Stars which is called Heels, it's a wrestling show, and they got a season two, so it seems things are going relatively okay. We know that he's in Vancouver quite often. I think that makes him a bit more of a possibility than someone like Melissa showing up 
on Supergirl because she isn't from Vancouver or from anywhere near there. She lives in LA and she's got a new TV show that she's working on which was recently confirmed. So someone like Melissa is much less likely compared to someone like Stephen who is Canadian and so there's always the chance that when he returns to Canada he could just show up and film with David Ramsey. But also I would say it's probably more likely that if Justice U becomes a thing that's actually where we will see the return of Oliver Queen probably as a new character but we would probably see Stephen come back for maybe a cameo or two just like John Diggle has been doing think that would be pretty cool considering that it is an Arrow spin-off although it isn't going to be set in the Arrowverse according to David Ramsey it's going to be set in this new Superverse that they are trying to set up that is starting with a whole new clean slate basically going away from the Arrowverse canon and restarting which is pretty much what they did in the comics after Crisis on Infinite Earth so it kind of makes sense although I don't think they planned to do this initially, I think they wanted to continue the Arrowverse and they just did Crisis because it's a cool story, but now they've used it as an excuse to expand and do different stories that are separate from the main Arrowverse. But that is about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new so you don't miss any future videos. Also go check out Comic Chris's channel and also the Flash podcast interview with Todd Helbing. Both will be in the description below, so go click on the links and watch and read them. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.